Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a very special episode of Easy Buckets. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. In today's video, I got something that I guarantee you guys are gonna love, especially if you're a Lakers fan. We're gonna be dreaming a little bit and talking about the possibility of the Lakers getting Zach Levine. As the NBA trade deadline approaches, a lot of Laker fans expect the Lakers to make at least one move, and from what we're hearing, Zach Levine might be a target the Lakers want, as right now, they need some offensive help. Zach Levine has been linked to the Lakers for a long time now, and with the Lakers currently being in a weird situation, I wouldn't be surprised if the Lakers try to get him. So if you're a big Lakers fan and want to know some potential trade scenarios that the Lakers can land Zach Levine, this video is for you. But quickly, before I get on with the video, I just want to say, if you're new to the channel and love basketball, welcome to Easy Buckets. My name is Zoom and I make basketball videos every single day. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and click this button right here, the post notification bell, to not miss any of my upcoming videos. If you watched this video and you loved it, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. It would help out the channel a lot. But without wasting any more time, let's talk about Zach Levine. You know, everybody wants to play with the best players in the world. You know, I, I would love to go out there and play with, you know, a dude like LeBron James, you know, but you're not going to get those type of opportunities, I don't think. Um, Unless you wind up on the Lakers, that's right. You know, hmm. yeah, things like that. But, man, you know, I'll play, I'll play for I'll, I'll love to play for a point guard, you know. You can get up and down the floor and pass the ball up like that. And, um, you know, sometimes playing with a dominant big man is great, too. There you have it folks, Zach Levine has interest on playing with LeBron, basically playing with the Lakers. If you heard this interview before, Zach Levine said this during the NBA All-Star Weekend last year. And ever since this happened, Zach going to the Lakers has been a very popular idea, a very popular rumor. In that interview, Zach says he wants to play with a point guard. And when talking about one of the best point guards in the NBA, you can definitely categorize LeBron as a point guard. And then he says he wants to play with a dominant big. The question is, who is the best big man in the NBA? It's definitely Anthony Davis. Of course, if healthy. A lot of Laker fans right now are dreaming of the possible big three that could be formed in LeBron James, Zach Levine, and Anthony Davis. And in my opinion, with the Lakers already being dominant, Zach Levine would give them a tremendous boost to the category of unbeatable. As of right now, Zach Levine is having an amazing season. Last year, he didn't make the All-Star team. This year, I expect him to. He's averaging 28.5 points per game, 5.5 rebounds, 5.2 assists, 1.1 steals, 0.4 blocks. Zach Levine is shooting a career high of 52% of the field goal and a career high of 85% of the free throw. Zach Levine right now is literally a monster for Chicago. But despite Zach Levine having such an amazing season, the Chicago Bulls as a team, they're not doing so well, and from the looks of it, they're not gonna make the playoffs this year. As I make this video, the Bulls have a record of 12-15, and 15, which ranks them as the 11th seed in the Eastern Conference, and one thing's for sure, I can definitely name you 8 NBA Eastern Conference teams that are better than the Bulls, which puts the Bulls in a situation again to kind of rebuild and kind of get ready for their future. The Bulls so far this season has had a horrible season, they've been hit with so many injuries, they lost marketing for some time, they've lost Wendell Carter, they lost Otto Porter, and honestly the Bulls kind of need a fresh start. And with Zach Levine being the Bulls best trading chip, I wouldn't be surprised if the Bulls somehow go into open trade market and see what NBA teams would offer for Zach. Zach right now is currently on a $19 million contract, it's not as expensive, and then next year will be his final year on his contract, and I don't know, if the Bulls keep being unsuccessful, Zach has a lot of NBA value, and if the Bulls feel like Zach Levine won't resign next year, trading him this year for the best assets possible to a championship contender might not be a bad idea for the Bulls' future. A big reason why the Bulls are very unsuccessful is because of their backcourt duo of Kobe White and Zach Levine. 
They are amazing young players on the offensive end, but on the defensive end, they are absolutely horrible. And from what we're hearing, the Bulls are going to try to trade at least one of them to kind of solidify a better backcourt duo for their future. And with Zach Levine having the better contract to trade away, I wouldn't be surprised if Zach Levine is the one to go, as Kobe White is still on his rookie contract. If Zach Levine ultimately becomes available, I believe the Lakers should call the Bulls immediately. When talking about the Lakers right now, the Lakers are still as dominant as ever. They currently have a record of 22 and 8, which ranks them as the second seed in the Western Conference. But honestly, with what just happened to the Lakers, I believe they're going to be looking into another superstar trade. It was just reported yesterday after the Brooklyn Nets loss that the Lakers will be losing Anthony Davis for four whole weeks, and possibly more. And with the Lakers still wanting to be competitive during the NBA regular season to get a good spot in the postseason, Zach Levine would instantly come in to help LeBron as their secondary scoring option. I'm making this video after the Lakers lost to the Brooklyn Nets, if you guys watched that game, the Nets literally blew out the Lakers, and from what I can see, the Lakers need someone they can rely on besides LeBron, especially if Anthony Davis is out. Going for Zach Levine just makes sense for the Lakers, as the Lakers can develop him alongside Anthony Davis for the foreseeable future, and then as LeBron James enters retirement soon, LeBron can kind of take it easy, as Zach and AD are still young and can run the team, while LeBron can still be LeBron. The Brooklyn Nets are the Lakers' biggest competitors right now, and with them having three stars, the Lakers can try to match them by getting Zach Levine to also have three stars. In this video, I have three trade scenarios that I believe make sense for the Lakers to offer the Bulls, and one of these deals, the Bulls ultimately might end up actually trading him. The Lakers' best trading asset right now is Kyle Kuzma, so expect him to be in all of these trade scenarios. He's currently averaging 15.5 points, 7.8 rebounds, 1 assist per game when Anthony Davis is out, and honestly, Kuzma is building some hype as a potential trading piece the Bulls actually might want as their potential forward going forward. See what I did there? Forward going forward. <laughs> To me, Zach Levine is an all-star, and that's why the Lakers have to offer up some good trading pieces. I believe these trades make the most sense. The first trade on this list is the Lakers offering up Kyle Kuzma, Contavious Caldwell-Pope, Wesley Matthews, and their 2027 first-round pick. And in my opinion, this is more of the best-case scenario for the Lakers if they're going to offer a trade. Of course, losing Kyle Kuzma and KCP is there is for the contract to match salary. But trading away Wesley Matthews instead of their young guns of THT and Caruso might be better as the Lakers can still keep young depth and also keep the important role players they're developing. In the Bulls' perspective, they'll be getting KCP, who could easily be their starting shooting guard. He brings a better defensive presence than Zach Levine. And of course, getting Kyle Kuzma to replace Otto Porter, as right now Otto Porter is injured. Kuzma could easily be that starting small forward and literally still be a scoring punch, as Zach Levine was. On the Lakers' perspective, I love this trade because they keep Dennis Schroeder, they keep Montrez, they keep Marcus Gasol, they keep Caruso, and they'll have an ultimate starting lineup of Dennis, Zach Levine, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Marcus Gasol, and then have Montrez off the bench. I love this deal for the Lakers. Of course, the Bulls want as many young assets as possible if they're trading away Zach Levine, so if they don't want this deal, I have another in mind. The next trade would be the Lakers offering up Kyle Kuzma, Contavious Caldwell-Pope, THT, Talon Horton Tucker instead of Wesley Matthews and of course that first round pick in 2027. I believe this would also be a pretty good deal the Bulls might be interested in as getting THT over Wesley Matthews is definitely better as THT this year so far has been showing the NBA world what his value could be. And if THT is going to leave the Lakers, I'm pretty sure another team is going to offer him something and give him some value in return. THT right now is averaging about 10 points per game, and we've seen it in the NBA preseason. THT put up about 20 plus points per game, and honestly, if the Bulls lose a shooting guard caliber player that can score like Zach, getting a potential player like THT wouldn't be a bad idea, alongside Kuz and KCP, which I mentioned earlier, are great for their rotation and their future. I believe this trade makes more sense for the Bulls, but I don't want the Lakers to offer this. I want the Lakers to offer the first trade that I offered first. I love THT as a Laker, but the question is, if it's to get Zach Levine, is it worth it? 
But the last trade on this list is more of a deal breaker where the Bulls would instantly accept. And that's the Lakers offering up Kyle Kuzma, Dennis Schroeder, Alfonso McKinney, and their first round pick in 2027 in exchange for Zach Levine. And I believe this trade makes more sense for the Bulls as they'll be getting two starting caliber players of Dennis and Kuzma that can play make and score on an efficient level. The biggest question about Dennis during this offseason is will he re-sign with the Lakers after his contract expires? And from what we're hearing, Dennis wants to do so, but I'm not sure if the Lakers have the money to give him what he wants. If the Lakers ultimately feel like Dennis Schroeder will ultimately be walking due to financial issues, I believe trading him for Zach Levine, who is guaranteed one more year for the Lakers, might be the best thing for them, as they'll be getting somebody committed. As of right now, we don't know what Dennis the Menace is thinking, but this is a good trade scenario the Bulls will ultimately accept, as Dennis Schroeder could easily start at the point guard, and maybe Kobe White pushes to the shooting guard. Out of all of these trades, what do you guys think? But ultimately guys, this wraps up my video for today on the possibility and dream of how the Lakers can get Zach Levine due to their circumstance right now. What's most important to me is what are your thoughts? Are these trades likely? Are these trades realistic? What should the Lakers offer? Put everything you're thinking down in the comment section down below. But other than that, take it easy. God bless and I'll see you all next time on Easy Buckets. Woo!